Welcome back, extraordinary viewers. We've got the Seiko 223 6010 sitting here. I've got the chapter ring off, and we're looking at the face. Next, we're going to take this face off. Um, we have to get underneath it because the problem with this watch is that the alarm, which you see there, will not go off when the chapter ring is turned or when the alarm button is pulled out. So let's take the hands off, fast forward there, get back to the real business, which is getting this face off. You can see these movements, even though they were digital, analog, semi-digital, you can see they took a lot of care in building them still. There's a jeweled movement in here. Um, there's a stator which pulses, which is smaller than a grain of sand. It's really, really, really small to try and get it sitting there. You can see all the beautiful gold circuitry work here on this circuit board, which is made of very, very durable circuit board material. So they really took care. I've uh, taken a number of these apart, and um, I can tell you that uh, the posts for the face are right here. So after loosening the screws, gently pry right up where the post goes through the main plate off of the dial, just right next to that post, very gently. This wants to come off. Uh, it's got the usual Seiko day-date mechanism under it. So you can, there it is right there. The more gently you do that, the better. This face is in perfect condition, so I don't want to scratch it or get anything on it, like a fingerprint on one of the chrome indicators. And this little piece right here will fall out very easily. It's a small indicator for the alarm and a piece of Radico is good for getting it. It's got a little hole that goes into a post and that is what moves it. It's a very very finicky thing to set up when you're rebuilding this watch but I'll show you some tricks when I, we get to that in rebuilding this. All right, so there's the day-date dial, and there's the washer that is uh, beveled on one side. And that's beveled on one side that should go down. The bevel should go down so that you can fit a screwdriver under this. Is this one the right way around? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this one is in good position. I've dealt with a lot of these where they put that washer in backwards and it becomes a hassle to get any tool underneath it to get it off of there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take off the day date dial um, and we're going to uh, look and see if the carrier gear or uh, anything is damaged underneath this because this is where the face is. I mean, I'm sorry, this is where the mechanism is for rotating the uh, the alarm dial. Alright, so just a screwdriver underneath the corner of this C-clip and just barely pry it up will get it so that you can take that off without it springing across the room. Don't try and push it off. Just lift a corner up and then a piece of Radico I've found just holds and tags the little bit of it so that as I pry it up I can pull it off of there without it springing across the room. And there it is. The infinitesimally small and incredibly important C-clip. Then the day comes off, the day wheel comes off very easily. And you can see under here we've got a number of screws holding down different plates. Um, there is an easy way to take this off. These screws right here actually will take off the main ring right here. And so you don't have to take off the smaller screws that are in here. Um, sometimes it's inevitable, depending on what you're wanting to get to. Me, I'm going to have to probably take everything off because I'm trying to get underneath here. Um, there is a small 
tricks to putting this back together. Make sure you pay attention when you're taking it apart. Uh, take as many pictures as you can. Um, and just walk yourself back really slowly if you decide to take one of these apart. So that's those two screws that hold that ring on. The screws get smaller and smaller as you go into this case. I'm sorry, into this movement. So, yeah, let's see. I think there's one more screw, isn't there? Yeah, there's one more screw. Nope, nope, my mistake. That'll come right off. So that is the date ring and a special spacer that went along with it that has the gearing on the sides of it. You can see that. That's got the teeth on the sides of it that catch the gear as it's turned and move that chap chap ring. So <clears throat> we are going to have to take the date wheel off which is those small screws you can see as I turn the alarm crown um, that wheel right there isn't turning it looks like there's there's a problem with that gear right there the carrier gear um, right underneath this so let's take off the changeover gear you're gonna there's two pieces to this and so when you take it apart there's a piece that's above the guard and a piece that's below the guard that's the piece that's above the guard and there's a piece below the guard right there that comes out when you take the guard off which uh, I'm gonna have to do so let's take these three screws out They're really tiny, so take your time when you're doing this. They're easy to pinch too hard when you're removing them and skitter them across the room. So I like to undo all three of them so that I can come in here with a... Oh, sorry, that's, there's four screws. I knew I was missing something. So come in here with a large pair of tweezers and pull out these, you see how they, they just want to zoom across. Alright, there we go. Now I can take the date wheel and the guard off and reveal the mechanism beneath it. And you can see, there it is, there's that wheel. And you can tell that it's not right because when I turn the crown here on the alarm stem it's not turning that main wheel. Let's take a look closer. So here you can see under high magnification the main carrier wheel for the alarm and it's got some broken teeth here. It's pretty damaged. It looks like the bracket is rusted. Um, there is no way to really fix this other than replace it so I've ordered another piece it's coming from Europe thank God we can find them um, because the rest of the movement looks really clean this bracket is rusted and this gear is broken apart so this watch obviously had some water intrusion at some point um, let's take a closer look at this yeah, here we can see up closer uh, how many teeth are missing. There's one, two, and a half missing. That's a lot of teeth. This bracket can be reused. The screw can be reused. Um, but that gear needs to be replaced. And fortunately, we can find it overseas. So I've ordered the part. And uh, in the meantime... Let's take a closer look. I've brought this under tighter magnification so you can see what I'm looking at when I look at the carrying gear here. You can see that the uh, that the gear itself is pretty chowdered. 
and the screw is pretty good holding it in. The bracket looks rusty, but uh, let's see what the bottom looks like. Let's see underneath here. Um, that's going to be the real tell. Okay, so far so good. That doesn't look like that screw's rusted, which is good news. Let's take that cover plate off. I've relaxed the spring here that's acting on a little lever inside here that's the click for this. So I've released that spring's tension. Let's take a look at the other side of this spring. I push it over that post so that it'll make this part easier. You can see the spring's really loose now here. So <clears throat> I can take that cover plate off without anything springing around here. You can see the care I'm taking. I don't know the condition of anything underneath this plate. I'm hoping, but I don't know. Oh, well. That's not bad at all. All the pieces are okay. It just looks like the carrying gear has, has been chowdered. Let's get that out of there. Even the post is good for that. That's really remarkable. I wasn't expecting that. So let's get that off of there. Yep, there you can see it in all its damage. We'll put this under a microscope and look at it more closely. We'll order a replacement gear. It looks like it'll go right back on there. That gear is suspiciously different than the rest of this entire movement. You see that? The movement is really clean. Even the post is clean. It looks like somebody put that rusted gear in there. Anyway, that's the uh, job for the next video, is uh, putting this all together and uh, making it work again. That that was very obvious what happened and why it wasn't turning that chapter ring. That is a, that's not even a mess in there. I mean, that's really remarkable. You can see there's the spring for the click against this wheel, and there's the click. None of these have any rust around any of them. So, there's the spring... And the click, oh, it looks like that stem has got a little rust further in. So water did intrude in here. Um, this will be a pretty easy cleanup. It's not going to be as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So, yay, we get to make this work again. More Radico to just pull out any rust and debris, any old oil or bits of metal that might be in there and uh, yeah let's wait for that gear to come in so here's the old gear <clears throat> you can see it's missing the teeth I've taken it out it's got a lot of damage to it and then I've got the new gear from overseas that will be perfect We'll install this and I'll show you how to do that. What a market difference a new part will make. Get them when you can.